Hello friends, welcome to the 76th session of Hybris tutorial. In this session, guys, we are going to learn how we can decrease the Hybris server startup time. Guys, if we are working in a development project and we are assigned with any Jira story, there we need to bring our server down and then have to do our some changes and then have to bring our server up again very frequently. So bringing the server down and then have to do the changes and then have to again bring up the server takes a lot of time. It eats up a lot of time. So it is necessary that we need to reduce or we have to reduce the server startup time. So what all are the steps through which we can, you know, bring down the server startup time. We are going to discuss all those steps in this video. So this video will be very informative for you if you are actually working in a development project. So guys, this is a demo video in which we have explained the functional concepts related to this video. But in case guys, you want to see the full technical video, you can watch our video by becoming our member. So you just have to click on the link which is given in the comment section of this video and you can become our member. Once you become our member, you will have access to the full member specific technical video in which we have explained the end to end steps which you need to perform in order to increase the server performance or in order to reduce the server startup time so just click on the link which is given in the comment section of this video and become our member and get access to all the member specific clear member specific videos so guys before doing any changes what i am going to show you i am just going to bring my server up and guys i already have hybris set up in my system that's why i am able to bring my server up in case you don't have hybris set up you can click on the link which is given in the comment section of this video and you can also have the hybris set up in your system and you can also install the b2c accelerator setup in your system but for now i have already this setup that's why i am directly showing you by bringing the server up so i am bringing the server up without doing any changes and let's see how much time this server will take so firstly i am bringing the server up without doing any changes without doing any modifications and we are going to see how much milliseconds it will take and once i will do the changes then we will compare whether the server started startup time has been reduced or not so let's wait for the server to come up and then we will see how much time it took to basically come the, come the server up so guys now you can see server has come up and this has taken this much of time right so this has taken this much of time and let's note down this time over here so you can see it has taken almost 6,5983 milliseconds okay so this is the time right server has taken up when we have not done any type of changes right now guys i am going to perform some of the changes and once i will perform those changes you will see that the server startup time will reduce drastically okay so what are those changes that we are going to see now So guys, now you can see build has been finished successfully. And now guys, I am going to bring my server up again, 
right so you can see guys now i am bringing my server up and after doing the changes right so we have already performed some of the changes and after doing those changes guys i am bringing my server up and then now we will see whether there is any redu reduction in the server startup time or not if you see the previously guys previously if you see the server startup time was this now let's wait for the server to come up and then we will see how much time it is now taking and how much reduction is there in the server startup time so let's wait for the server to come up and then we will do the comparison so guys now you can see server has come up and this has taken this much of time right so this has taken this much of time and if we compare it with the previous time you can see now the server startup time has improved right than the previous time so guys this means now the server startup time has been decreased it means these are the changes if we do these changes we can reduce the server startup time to some extent so guys i hope this video will be useful for you in your projects and guys if you like this video do share this video with your friends thank you for watching bye